Oh. Adam. Adam. Come oh, on, 7.30, chemistry. Hey, man, wake up. What's going on? Wake up, man. Jonathan? What yeah. What are you doing with the camera, man? Is this some sort of practical joke? No, man, just, I got to film you today. Film me for what? Oh, just this video that we're supposed to do. A day in the life of an industrial engineer. Oh, the IE video thing. I thought we had yeah. a volunteer for that. Oh, uh, well, actually, you've been randomly selected. Randomly selected? I hate statistics. What is this? Oh, jeez. Yeah, just cool. do whatever you do, man. Well, that's what I was going to say. What am I What am I supposed to do? What time is it? Oh, milk is a bad choice. So, uh, you're just going to follow me around all day? Apparently. All right, well. I gotta be ready, so uh, come with me. So, uh, am I supposed to like tell you what industrial engineering is all about or something? Man, I don't know. Just, just do what you normally do every day. Yeah, but what? You got industrial engineering. We're kind of like the link between the business world and the engineering world, you know? They teach us to be uh, project managers. They teach us a little bit about each of the engineering fields. And then it kind of allows you to be very versatile. They prepare you to deal with people. So that's kind of interesting sometimes. I mean, sorry, man, bathroom's down this way. I know it's a long haul, but uh, we gotta go, so. That's Basically, cool. Uh, they say engineers make things. Well, industrial engineers make things better. We're all about efficiency. Yeah, we wanna save you time, save you money. I mean, we're experts in that kind of stuff, so. Uh, Anyway, I'm gonna almost split in the women's bathroom. <laughs> Made that mistake before, man. You don't want to do that. In the industrial engineering department, we do have female engineers. It's actually one of the few engineering disciplines that has the benefit of having the female gender in our department. So, uh, anyway, here's that. Am I gonna get ready, man? Come on in, I get it. Man, I was worried about that step. Hey, man, what's up? Hey, man, what's up? How are you, buddy? Man, it was such a late night last night. I was working on the staff project so bad that like I started dreaming about Dr. Cassidy. Oh yeah. I've had that dream. By the way, congrats on the team being alpha. No, I was thinking like if we change alpha to like 0.01, it might be better than doing 0.05 or something like that. Time for our career, you know? We at least could show that we attempted to do something like that. What you up to, Adam? Oh uh, man, they filmed me. I got randomly selected for that stupid, uh, I, I mean, the really good idea for that IE video. <laughs> <laughs> apparently, I knew it. Apparently, we didn't have any volunteers. So, uh, faculty got together. I guess Dr. Cassidy did one of his random number generators. Well, my number's up, boys. See, I'm just no shout This lab is usually filled with students, they're all working hard, but it's a pretty high-tech lab, it's usually it's crowded. You know, let's take a look at the computer lab, there's probably some more people in there. You know, this is just like a study lounge area, so there's fun in here. Mm. Yeah, but maybe it's just, it's, it's early in the semester, there's not a whole lot of classes going on right now. I know this guy, it's this job, but I'm going to go say hi. Lots of software on the computers. There's plenty of computers to use and a whole lot of resources. You get this really nice projector. I mean, it's high tech, digital. Move on. Uh, I'll see you later, Tom. Thank you, buddy. Yeah. Later. Uh, 
So, uh, where do you want to head next, man? I, can, uh, I think there's got to be something else good we can check in. So anyway, you know, there's, we've got lots of good labs. Maybe we should just go check out one of the labs and, uh, and see what's Adam, going on. Come quick! Come quick. That's, that's Dr. Fan. He's our robotics instructor. He works in the snake bed. Come on! Come on! Come on! This is crazy. I don't know what's going on here, but we, we got to figure out what's going on. Like I said, this is the snake bed. This happens. Cobra vibe. I'm so sick of these darn snakes in this darn lab. Come on, let's see what's going on. Dr. Fan, you gonna be my man? Yeah! Look at watch out for the snakes! What the? I, I don't know what's going on. I thought there was an emergency. Are you hurt? Is everything okay? Everything's fine. Just got me watching. Uh, you really scared me. I, I, I thought something crazy was going on. I mean, it's, the robot's kind of dancing, but that's one crazy robot right there. Uh, well, tell me about this slide, Dr. Fan. What do you have going on? This one right here is assembling two parts, and that without any type of machine patient is being able to put the two parts together. Once it's finished, you unload it, set it aside, and begin again. And this is all completely automated. Automated, completely. All ran by computers, manipulators, and a lot of good programming done by students. All right, so this is industrial engineers taking care of this kind of stuff? Yes, industrial engineering. Uh, there's also electrical engineers and mechanical engineers, but we teach it here in the industrial engineering department. All right, so the robotics uh, class that you teach, what else do you teach? Machine vision? Machine vision. Machine vision. So we have a class for machine vision, robotics, and we have an advanced class in the uh, graduate class. Okay. So we can go way beyond into new research. All right. Well, excellent, Dr. Fan. Thanks for the tour. I appreciate Thank you. it. And I'm glad you didn't have to have any remedies for snake bites. I'm, I mean, I was about to go to the Poison Control Center because I was a little scared there for a minute. But uh, Okay, you take care of yourself. Don't work too hard, all right? Come on. Uh, Mr. Funky Chicken Dance over there. Hopefully everything's all right. Let's, uh, let's go take a look see what else is going on.